Hello friends, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu, and today I've decided I'm gonna play some more La Mulana for you guys. Not really for you guys, mainly for me. I want to play this game. <laughs> it's still interesting to me. And... Uh, what the frick? Okay, okay, that sounds like that's its intended. The intended noise it makes when you load things up. So to start things off, um, I screwed a couple things up in the previous video. I went back through the manual again and uh, yeah, pretty pretty much if you're having any trouble very early on in La Mulana with something that seems stupid or that you just can't figure it out, uh, read the manual seems to be the main solution to those kinds of problems. So first off, I, I said in the last video that I didn't think that the game had a full screen mode, it, or sorry, that the game could only be run in full screen mode and didn't have a windowed mode. Uh, that turned out to be incorrect. If you press Alt and Enter, it goes into windowed mode, and that's... it tells you that in the manual. And I wasn't sure what those beer cans that I'd been collecting uh, in the previous uh, play session, I wasn't sure what they did. And along the same lines, I also said that I thought you had an infinite supply of weights. Uh, so those things that I said looked like beer cans, those are actually your weights, so you have a limited supply of those. Which are, I guess, kind of comparable to keys in Zelda, I guess you might say, and that instead of act being activated on, like, doors and chests, you uh, use them to hit switches and hold those down. So that's uh, another thing that I figured out just by uh, reading the manual. So, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, we had a few places that we could potentially explore, and oh yeah, that's right, we had our map as well that we picked up last time, so yeah, definitely want to be starting to use that. So it, it, it appears to me that this is showing us rooms that we haven't been to already, so that's potentially quite useful. And I do, I do remember that there was a... It was either a sign or a skeleton or something saying something about hidden platforms. And that sort of made me think about this room. There didn't... Because I, I was kind of stuck here. I didn't see any way across. So I'm thinking... And then it said, like, yeah, there was an invisible platform and then I fell off. So I'm thinking maybe... Or I don't know. Was there any other thing that... Oh. Okay, there's a ladder here. I totally didn't even notice that ever. So, uh... Yeah, glad I went back to have a look at that instead of potentially jumping into a pit, into my potential, er, p potential, my potential death. <laughs> um, okay, um, those faces are spitting, it looks like ducks, or it's it, like that dragon from, like the dragon ducks from, I forget the name of that old Atari game. Oh, right, oh, I don't... Right, I have my shurikens equipped. So let's remedy that and get the hand scanner out. My, right. a lot of enemies now. Because, yeah, we haven't really been... Like, I've mentioned that I, basically from this game's reputation and basically from the, what the game tells you in the manual, I so was, I'm sort of expecting this to be like a difficult game and kind of a incessant fail fest of an LP kind of thing. But we haven't really seen that at all so far. Twin guards, silent and alone, deliver a stone on high. What does it mean by guards? Maybe that's... I don't know what that means. I feel like I should maybe be taking notes or something as I play this. There was a tablet over there, but I probably can't read it anyway. Um, can I get on the other side of that? No. What is this? Oh, it's a door. Eight souls rest in this land. Okay, so I'm assuming that's just our our goal in this temple, or in this game, is to just kill the eight guardians and... Shining red light. So I'm su assuming we collect eight gems from these guardians and then take them to a red light of some kind, and that'll be, I guess, our objective, or the onks. I don't, I don't know how that word is pronounced. Do you pronounce the H? Onk? That's what the KH sound means. You go, Kh. That's a lie. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, that's probably not useful for quite a while. We can come back there later if we forget what to do. So, 
I guess the first thing to try is to kill all the enemies in this room, by which I mean the bats, since the ducks appear to be infinitely respawning. So, see, kill all those, those guys, see if it opens up the treasure chest. Get over here, batty. And... God dang it, this is irritating. Yeah, that's so irritating, I'm guessing that it's not the solution. But, you know, gotta try everything. Just in case. And can I... I wanna jump down to those... I wanna jump those bones. Okay, that didn't work. The timing was just a bit off. Jump those bones. Got it. Have I been here before? There are shops in the ruins. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, were we over here to begin with? I don't think so. I think this is new. Okay, I don't see it. How do I get that chest? I don't see any way to trigger it, so I'm going to leave that for now. Okay, we're back here. I want, I want that green gem. Can I get it? I missed it. Okay, it doesn't look like it. I know I shouldn't whip it because the manual told me not to, but I'm going to try to whip it. Whoops. Okay, that- oh shit, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was a really bad idea. <laughs> okay. Didn't do a lot of damage to me, though. Damn it. Man, these elephant mice are just schooling me here. Or, you know what? I got the whip above my head there. They, the whip above your head is instant. It just takes a moment for it to come forward. So I saw that you, you fell through the floor there. That's... But there are also spikes here. I don't know if that's just like monsters can do that sometimes, or if I'm like... meant to take that as a clue. Oh, hand scanner doesn't work on these bones. So what does that thing do? Or are those just spikes? Well, let's just give it a shot. Doesn't look like anything. Let's just continue. I don't. I, I really shouldn't be wasting. Or I, I should try to waste not too much time on this game because I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time. So let's let, let's just press forward. Uh, figure out exactly where it is. Let's just see what we can see and then figure out where we should go from there. Okay, those are exploding thingies. Exploding rat pigs. It looks like. Oh, and again, there's a ladder here that I almost didn't notice. Oh, it looks like a new area. Okay, that's, um, interesting thematically. Wasn't expecting to see cats riding on beach balls in this game. Especially in the Egyptian area. I guess the Egyptians, the Egyptians apparently worshipped cats or something like that. Do I want to come here yet? So, like, will I find the... I guess I'll probably find the map for this area. In this area. Yeah, no map here. So, I think I kind of want to explore the previous region first. Just, uh, just because I have a map. I kind of have a good idea of where I can go. Whoa. Okay, so they explode diagonally all the time. Um, have I been here before? I don't think so. Oh, damn, right, I whipped that skeleton a second ago. So yeah, see, I, pr I promised you guys this would be just a horrible playthrough of me failing incessantly and doing stupid things, and there you have it. I, d I deliver on my promises. Man, I I'm seeing, like, a f fair bit of, like, interesting things on these screens. Like, these blocks here with... it doesn't look like... Okay, is this a puzzle? Looks like I could drop this... Well, let's just drop this down and see what happens. I don't think I'll be able to... Okay, so then... So then we're blocked off now. Great. Um, what do you have to say? Maybe he has a hint. No, he doesn't. Um, will that stay there if I come back around the other way? That would actually kind of suck if it did, because, I mean, it would be possible to, like, permanently fail these block puzzles. Okay, there we go. So how do we do this? Because, yeah, it looks like the only way to get the block down onto this switch 
is to push it from above. Oh. That's a clue. We might... Probably a clue, and I should... They might expect me to be able to figure it out before I am even able to read it. Okay, so can I kill this? Okay, so I'm assuming... I'm guessing the solution is something will let me destroy this statue later in the game, and then that'll let me push the block down onto that switch. So, uh, check my map, and yeah, this is just a dead end. Well, I just, I'm seeing a lot of things to, like, potentially poke at and explore or try to do stuff with on some of these screens, and I don't know... I s oh, that was a one-way... one-way ladder. It's a bit... Well, it's good to know that those exist, at least. And, right, I don't think I want to drop down there again. Oh, what was that? Okay, that was that was another thing I looked up, was I mentioned that I didn't know what that uh, shell horn I picked up in the last play session was, and I looked that up in the manual, and so what that does is it... Uh, it plays a tune whenever you solve a puzzle of some kind. So what did I do there? Okay, it looks like the solution was to whip it, because I think I whipped it, and that's what made that sound, and now it's gone, so I probably have it in my inventory. Nope. Anything here? Nope. Okay, so I just collected a gem, I guess, for no reason. Oh, that that is new. Okay. Right, I read that already. So this will... Okay, and this will take me... Will it take me all the way up? Nice, so I can get onto that... Whoops. Okay, it's going up and down. That's fine. But okay, so that's how I get through that. Get up to that switch that I revealed earlier. Or pedestal, or whatever that is. And jump. Man, just bats everywhere on, like, all of these screens. And if I... Oops, I could have hit that. And if I hit this... Nothing. Okay. I'm actually kind of wondering, as I, like, look at all of this, exactly what kind of difficult game this is. Because I, I know this game has a reputation for... Or it, it, the, devel the developers mentioned that they had the goal in mind in the manual of uh, this being a difficult game. I'm not sure exactly what kind of difficulty, now that I think of it. Like, from from sort of like a... Oh, shit. Okay, I thought it was going to fall on that spike and die. Oops. Okay, <laughs> I thought I might get crushed there. But uh, I'm not sure exactly what kind of difficulty they're actually going for here. Because, like, from, from like a sort of Castlevania action platformer type standpoint. This doesn't seem to be... Um, it's, yeah, it doesn't seem to be too, too difficult at this point. Um, not having a lot of... You have a lot of... You can you can withstand a lot of hits. And once I figure out the timing on this whip and am able to get more consistent with that, it doesn't look like, like the action challenges they're throwing at me have been very difficult so far. Like, I just haven't felt in danger of dying a whole lot, although I'm kind of getting down there. And there doesn't appear to be any easy way to refill your life. Other than, I guess, returning into town and saving your game does appear to refill your life. Because, yeah, I didn't have full life. Oh, it sounded like that did something. There, got him. Sometimes the treasure won't open. Now let's try a wait. Okay, that was mean. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but I got out of the way regardless. Okay, that, that that must be the Shellhorn tune. So that's kind of a dick move on their part. And yeah, that's what I was, I was sort of getting at, is that's... Like, it's not doesn't really seem to be difficult from a action standpoint, so I'm thinking it might be difficult from sort of like an obtuse adventure game style puzzle uh, standpoint, which is not really... The kind of thing that I like a lot in video games. It's just adventure games have never been my thing. I can just the style of puzzles. Like I, I like abstract logic puzzles where it's like the various puzzle elements are. It, it's very. It's it's obvious at the outset exactly what you can do with everything. Like your standard like moving, pushing block puzzles. It's obvious 
that you just like you try to like Sokoban is like your classic example. It's just, just you've got blocks you can push and you try to push them. Oh shit! Actually, I should probably back out and uh, save at this point, or save slash refill my life, even though I haven't done too much productive. But you know the, the kinds of puzzles where um, it, it it is obvious from the outset, like what all the moving pieces are, like what the different things are that you can interact with and how you can interact with them. Uh, the sorts of puzzles where that kind of thing is all spelled out for you right at the outset, and then the the puzzle lies in just uh, manipulating those puzzle elements to into some sort of solution state. Whereas adventure game puzzles seem to be more about uh, presenting you with presenting you with the different puzzle elements, but not but not giving you any idea of what they do. That's the puzzle is that uh, it like shows you some sort of weird, suspicious things on screen, and the puzzle is figuring out how you can interact with those things, and what... And then after you've done that, what exactly you need to do with them. Whereas it, with your more traditional abstract logic puzzle, those interactions are all spelled out at the outset, and it's just the manipulation. So yeah, the whole adventure thing, where the whole idea is figure out what to do with these elements by, I don't know, trial and error, slash... Sometimes basic common sense, but not usually. Usually just blind trial and error with, like, everything in your inventory. And again, I was not able to read that because I was talking. Steal the sword, steal the shield, crush the helmet, crush... Okay. Okay, so that was that thing we saw on the other page. Steal it. I don't know how you do that. Maybe... I didn't try scanning them. I sh I've... I'm good about remembering to scan these bones and the tablets that I can't read. Not so good about remembering to scan things. Okay, so steel. I don't know what... Okay, so can't scan those. Can't crush them with my whip. Although it, it did actually make a sound effect. Okay, so crush that. And then steal. I don't know how you steal. That could be a thing that we have to do later, but this... I don't know, it seems like a thing we might be able to solve right now. So let's see what, what we need to do with what. And again, I hope I didn't permanently screw it up there. Steel sword, steel shield. Crush the helmet and crush the armor. And I did fuck that up there. Um, so let's just crush everything and hope that that resets it. Um, okay, that was a bad idea. Again, though, like I said, we didn't... We lose all of our progress, <laughs> technically, but we didn't actually make any progress there. Information is what we're sort of gaining out of these dungeon runs so far. And this noise just freaks me out every time. It makes me think there's something wrong with my computer. That's like a modem startup noise anyways. What's, MSX didn't have a modem. Or did it? I don't have the slightest idea. That'd be really cool if it did. So I guess what we'll need to get that, uh, yeah, whip the gem again to get that platform going and then continue exploring. Mess around some more with that, shoot. With that various objects puzzle. So yeah, it, if, if this turns out to be like the kind of thing where it's just shows you a bunch of weird objects, and then you have to figure out some obtuse, counterintuitive way to do something with them, then that's not really my kind of game. I'm, I'm hoping this there isn't too much of that in here, but... Uh, and yeah, so far that seems to be uh, mostly kind of what we've seen so far. Not, not like hugely counterintuitive or anything like that. Nothing egregious in that area, but that just seems to be the style of this game mainly seems to be just puzzles, from what I've seen at least, uh, or not even what I've seen, just what I guess, what I surmise based on what I'm seeing so far. It's just a lot of things with no real idea of just what to do with them quite yet. Yeah, it's, it, which is, it's not a bad, like, I don't hate that style of game or anything, like, it's always intriguing. It's like, what do I do with this? What's the solution here? And it's always kind of neat, that sort of thought process of, what do I do with this? In fact, Silent Hill had some really good puzzles. It had some really bad puzzles in that regard, along those, in that style. 
which is why I don't really like those games on the whole. But it also, it also had some really good ones. Like, I remember, um, there were, there were some puzzles in Silent Hill 3 especially was, was the one game that I played the most of that, uh, yeah, just managed to keep me engaged for the longest without pissing me off. And yeah, there were some good puzzles there, a lot where you sort of have little, sort of, poems, basically, to interpret, to try and... And those would sort of give you clues as to how to deal with whatever they put in front of you. And yeah, that, that, that was... At least a few of them were, like, really, really good to me. Like, the... There was, like, the poem about a face that refers to numbers on a number pad. That was a fun one. Uh, there, was the, there was the Shakespeare number puzzle. I really liked that one. But yeah, I didn't play a whole lot of Silent. Um, where's... Oh, right, I gotta equip my scanner. Oh, I should equip my map as well. My map as well. There we go. Okay, map. So it looks like... It could be that this is just, like, a hub area. Like, I think, I'm think i thinking I want to go... F I, was, I was thinking that I want to go through here. Okay. Pay attention. Steal the sword, steal the shield. Crush the helmet, crush the armor. So, okay. Let's let's do that. 